Prime Minister, Dr. the Honorable Timothy Harris, Deputy Prime Minister, the Honorable Sean K. Richards, the Honorable Ian Patches Liburd, the Honorable Attorney General Vincent Byron Jr., Cabinet Secretary, this is Josephine Huggins, Deputy Speaker of the National Assembly, Akila Byron Nisbet, Mohammed Azaria, the President of Range Developments, Bernard Berger Bibi, the President of Six Senses, Ambassador Michael Powell. Ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant good afternoon. It is really my distinct pleasure this afternoon to speak to you with regard to the ongoing developments of the Sinkets and Nevis's growing tourism sector. As you might very well know, the tourism industry is one of the primary drivers of our nation's economy, bringing both employment to our people and wealth to the Federation of Sinkets and Nevis. We have recently announced the progress of the construction of the second cruise pier at Port Zante. And for our stayover visitors, we recently announced plans for a new 125 room Ritz Carlton Resort on the Southeast Peninsula, which is also home to the new Park Hyatt that opened in November. It was only just last week during the National Assembly. I also advise of our negotiations for a cutting edge underwater hotel that would be the first of its kind in the world. Today we are here again. Very exciting day to share the good news on a very special hotel product. And in fact, Mr. Prime Minister, I, I, I should advise that the Six Senses is a seven-star hotel. And so, seven-star, not five, seven. And so we are bringing to the Caribbean something the Caribbean has never seen. I must say also that it comes on the, or in the La Valley area, in an area I'm certain my colleague, the Honorable Sean K. Richards, is going to, to love that I suspect a number of persons from that area would find employment. Not only employment, but good employment, creating fantastic jobs for the people of St. Kitts and Nevis. To give you a, a further idea of the exclusivity of this brand that comes to St. Kitts and Nevis, the other locations, as I am advised for the Six Senses Resort, are such exotic and glamorous locales as the Seychelles, Fiji, France, Oman, the Maldives, Thailand, Singapore, Turkey, Vietnam, Portugal, and China. And Six Senses only develops resorts in the world's most unique and exquisite destinations. So we must be proud to be in that category. And I believe it is also a singular testament to the natural beauty of St. Kitts' landscape to become one of those premier destinations. Indeed, the significance of this new development for St. Kitts goes beyond simply just adding another resort to our existing mix of accommodations or being chosen as the destination for the brand's inaugural Caribbean properties. Because I am also advised that it is Six Senses' philosophy with regard to sustainability, wellness, and premier service that makes it an ideal fit for St. Kitts. And it complements our own vision and direction for our tourism product. The award-winning approach is to design and to build each of their properties to have a distinct 
and diverse personality that makes use of the location's natural land topography and becomes part of the local fabric and culture. I quote from the following from the Six Senses website about their sustainable commitments, and I quote, Six Senses is widely recognized as having established the initial benchmarks for the hospitality industry, showing that a leisure lifestyle could be successfully embraced by the very top tier of resorts and actually enhance the experience by showing respect to nature. The best practices include environmental performance of each property, support for preservation of natural and cultural heritage, and enhancing social and economic benefits to local communities in destinations where the six senses operate. Furthermore, the six senses will bring a level of service that meets a higher standard than any we have ever seen in the Federation to date and which will appeal to the distinguishing, the experiential travelers who are Sinkitz's target visitors and primary visitors. They just don't do it right, but they do it well and with great care to deliver crafted experiences which are always unique and which begin with empathy. The Six Senses puts people at the heart of their business, which we love encouraging dignity and respect in the way they treat guests and each other, while hiring and training programs enable staff to anticipate guests' needs with subtlety and consistency that is only associated with the most distinguished hotels in the world. And so, ladies and gentlemen, in closing, I want to welcome the Six Senses Group to St. Kitts, and to say that we know you are here to obviously make a profit, but we know that you will make sure uh, that you take on our culture and our heritage, as, your, as your, 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 your hotel says, because we believe that St. Kitts and Nevis, we are steeped in history and diversity. And so we welcome you to St. Kitts to further elevate our overall tourism industry by expanding our diversity of accommodations and we have to offer. And so we want you to maximize the opportunity that you have, but also take in mind that we put our people first. And with those few words, I say thank you. Stay up to date with news, programs, and activities of the government with SKNIS. Like us on Facebook. Listen to us on SoundCloud. Follow us on Twitter. And watch our videos on YouTube. Connect with us today. SKNIS, St. Kitts and Nevis Information Service.